Here's a simple way to implement screen shake in Godot 4. So I've got my player here with a camera 2D attached. Uh, this is the main camera that will follow the player around. Give this camera a script and ultimately we'll be doing three main steps slash using three main files. Uh, they're right here. Uh, you can look at them. Uh, but first, so create and connect a global signal. This is just done in your globals file. Just put signal walk screen shake. And to connect it, we connect it in the camera file that we just made. In the ready, just put globals.walk screen shake dot connect walk screen shake. I'll go back to the camera file later, but the second step is to emit a signal when uh, we want to shake the screen. In this example, I'll be shaking the screen whenever the player moves. So to emit a signal, we just put globals.emit signal walk screen shake in this example. So when the player's animation function is ran, walk screen shake signal is emitted. And the third step is to catch the signal and shake the camera. So now I'll be setting up the camera script itself. Uh, remember this camera has a timer node attached to it called a shake timer. Uh, we drag that in slash make it a variable so we can access it. Set up a shake intensity, which is on default zero. The default offset, which is the camera's original offset. Uh, and the walk shake intensity, which if you make it a at export, you can change it in the editor later. Uh, these are the variables, pr pretty standard variables. Uh, moving on to functions now. In ready, we do two main things. First, we did before, we connect a global signal walk screen shake. Uh, and two, we stop the process from running. And you just do it by this. Uh, this just stops process from running. Pretty simple. Next, we add the walk screen shake function. This is ran whenever the signal is emitted. Uh, so whenever we move, all it does is just start the shake function with the walk intensity. So in process, when the process is running, the screen is shaking. Uh, that's why we stopped it in ready. So basically it, the process is we just use a tween to move the camera's offset. Uh, the shake vector is how much we'll change the offset by. This is just depending on the intensity. And tweens, if you don't know, they basically just change a value over time. So in this case, the tween will change uh, the offset to the shake offset in 0.1 seconds. Finally, we make the shake function that's called by the signal, and this just does three things. One, it enables the process. Two, it changes the intensity based on the what, how much we want to shake it by. And three, it starts the timer. When the timer finishes, we stop the process from running again, uh, and that stops the screen from shaking. So we want to connect the timeout signal. If you don't know how to do this and then it'll bring up this sc little screen and make sure to connect it to the camera node and not the player node. This signal is emitted every time the timer finishes. Uh, so in here we just stop the process and use a tween to get back to the default offset. And that's all, that's all in the camera code here. You can take it, it's it's all on the screen now. There's a link below if you wanna copy it. Uh, so now whenever the player moves in the game, the signal is emitted and the camera shakes. Whoa, look at this, crazy. The camera's shaking when we move. So there you go, the, the screen is shaking when the player is moving. That That's that's all. You can watch full dev vlogs for this game on my channel and maybe subscribe to me for more tutorials soon. But in conclusion, there, there's three main steps to the screen shake method in Godot. Uh, one, create and connect a global signal. Uh, this is done in your globals file and connected in the camera file. Two, emit the signal. This, this is done whenever you want the screen to shake. Just put emit signal, signal name. And three, catch the signal and shake the camera. And this is done in the camera file. Just and the shake is just done by changing the camera's offset over time. So hopefully you learn a little bit about signals and or tweens and how to use them in games with this example. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is Kobe. Uh, subscribe to me, maybe. Bye-bye.